Hi, I wanted to show you some data cleaning task that you will run into when you're preparing data for analysis and some of the great shortcuts in Excel that allow you to do some special operations. So we're going to do a data cleaning task which allows us to autofill intermittent blank cells. Now, you can see from the data set here, we have country, date, customer, ID, and then the revenue. And what we have is some blanks here. Now, from a visual standpoint, we can understand what's going on. We can see that Australia represents all of the rows from cell 2 all the way to cell 18. And this is the start of this section. Same here for the date. We can see that these dates are unique, but then this block of empty cells should be represented by the value in cell 5. And then also we see for our customer ID, we should have a customer ID that's representative of what's in cell 6. And we can see that if we go down this list, there's quite a lot of holes. And this is quite a large data set if I'm just pressing control shift and down, which is not going to give me all of the, the data at once, but you can press control shift and in key to get all of the data. And you can see there's 15,000 rows there. And I'm just going to hover back up to the top using the selection here. And we can see that Australia if I highlight that, is having data that's from see, all the way from cell 2 to cell 18. So these values here should represent everything for Australia. But if I filter that and I go to filter, which was added from the data tab, and I just say give me Australia, you can see that it's only bringing in one line. And I'm going to press Control Z. And what's that going to give us is that these lines are merged. And Australia is only represented by one line. So you might be saying, OK, well, let's remove the merges. And maybe that will allow us to filter. So let's just do that very quickly. Control Shift it in. Get highlight all of the data. Or you can turn that into a table. And we can say, OK, let's go over to the merge in center and let's take that off. And now we can see that each one of those rows is represented individually. And let's just center this so we can make it look nice. And if I click on Australia and I just do that, we still only get one row. So that did not fix our problem. What we need to do is be able to add Australia into this section here. So we want to be able to take the previous value, let's say A equals Australia, and maybe drag that down. And, you know, we can say, okay, this is what should be there. So we want to be able to take the value here. And of course, we could just double click that and drag that down. We could do the same for here. But we know this is 15,000 rows. It's going to take forever. So let's just control Z and get rid of that. What we want to be able to do is highlight all of this information. So I am just going to highlight all the columns that I'm interested in here. And to just ensure that that is highlighted everything, you can just do a little sanity check. So I've highlighted each one of the rows, or you could do control shift and N key to get all of the data, but we know we only need, and now that I have that, I can press control in G. And this is going to take me to the go to special box. And what I can do is click special, go to blanks. And then once I have blanks, I can hit OK. Now once I have blanks, you can see that this box is highlighted. Now we don't want to click into that box. What we want to do 
is go up to the formula bar and say, hey, give me the previous cell, which is here. Once I have that, we can replicate that formula over all our blanks. So now I can just press Control and Enter. And now you can see all of this has been filled in. So just to take you through that again, I'm going to press Control and Z. And now remember, what we want to be able to do is add this value here and be able to replicate that across all our blanks. So I'm going to highlight the cells. So I'm going to leave my cursor there. I'm going to highlight all the cells that I want, clicking them, pressing Control to highlight them. We don't need to do this because revenue is fine and we don't want revenue to be replicated on the previous cell because that value is unique. Now that I have all the data that I want highlighted, I press Control G. I go to special, I go to blanks and hit OK. Now you can see that cell highlighted. We go back up to the formula bar, we hit equals and then we hit Australia because that is the previous one and I'm going to press control and enter and now we have all our values so now if we wanted to filter Australia to get all our values we can see that we get all of the rows and if I wanted to create a pivot table here I would just go to insert and be able to get all the values of Australia. Go to pivot table. And I'm going to just create that on a new sheet. I'm going to go to country. And then I'm going to go to our revenue, bring that down to values. It's going to be summed. And you can see now we have our Australia there. And if we wanted to see the total sum, there we go. So go back over to our sheet one and we can see this is just a quick and easy way for you to save a lot of time and be able to add those values into the cells quite easily. I hope that helps.